What is going on, guys? It's Nick Bankrupt. What is going on, guys? It's Tubular, bro. We got <laughs> Nick Bankrupt. You don't have money. We're gonna figure out how many girls we can. Can pick you up. talk louder, bro? You're like depressed speak? or something. Speak Go, up, you speak. It's your channel. All right, we're gonna get into the video. Stay tuned. This guy's depressed. I don't know who hurt him. Yeah, you guys want to be interviewed for a YouTube channel? This guy used to be YouTube famous, yeah. and then he's like now non-existent on YouTube. Not in this video. Which one? Which one? I like this one. This one. You like that one? That stands out more. All right, let me get this. Right here. Okay, are you guys gonna ask okay. us a question? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, continue. So ask right, your fucking so question. So which one do you guys think is? Uh, I'm gonna say the yellow one. I like that one. You like okay. the yellow one, one more than this one? one? Yeah. That one. Yeah. Why? Are you why? sure there's not another car you're seeing? This yellow one right here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a cool. lemon, bro. Stop talking. I like talking. the yellow. Yeah, you like it. It's for it's sure. it's neon yeah. green, but all right. No, the wrap looks like because it's in the shade. It usually looks like this. It lights up. No. It's daytime, but you're not going to be seeing that. Well, in the front right here. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I guess, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I guess it's not cool. We're going to get my friend's reaction to my 2017 Lamborghini Huracan. He has a Ford Focus ST, but it's turbocharged. Pretty much uh, full boltons with a uh, big turbo, so it's pushing around like 400 horsepower. I think that that's probably the fastest car that I've uh, I've driven, I think. It's right here, half camo, half satin black. This thing looks so, so aggressive. It's by far the cleanest ST. Jose, don't come at me, bro. I'm sorry. I'm just being honest. I'm kind of nervous to be honest. It's my first time in London. You almost took out a Chick-fil-A worker. <laughs> <laughs> We can, we can leave it down. Leave it down. I, just, I just want to hear it. That's <laughs> insane. Dude, I oh want that Prius gosh. so bad. It's so sick. The new Prius Prime. Yeah, they're not too bad. It looks better than the Huracan, honestly. <laughs> Stop <angle>. that. <laughs> how much so how much uh, horsepower is it? You said 680? 680 right now, yeah. It literally pulls you back. Like, <laughs> It literally, <laughs> it holds you in your seat. Different type of power. Yeah. 100%. Oh you see the reaction? Yeah, <laughs> I, that's, honestly, that's the priceless part. Same people in reaction. Lambo time. Saving up to get a Lambo. like about this car honestly. We're in course of it right now. The blind spots in this is it pretty bad? It's pretty bad. That's why I've been looking like a weirdo the entire time. <laughs> Honestly, I can tell because like this corner, you can't see nothing over there. Yeah, I need a Lambo for sure. Like it's not, it's not even a question anymore. Like I need one. All right, and let me tell you, bro, I haven't went past fifty percent throttle. What? Yeah, bro, I did not even go near full throttle. <laughs> no, I swear to God, I've had like an M4 in the past and an M3 in the past and all that. It's just like. You know, you, you don't know when your car is going to break loose and, you know, put all of its power just in that rear and just spin out, you know? So that was, all of that was 50% throttle. I'd say 50, you know, at most 55%, 60% throttle. <laughs> and auto mode, bro, in sport is the scariest thing in the world. If you just step on the gas in auto mode, it down shifts like the lowest gear possible. Uh -huh. And that shit will just throw all the power and just like fly. It's, it's scary as hell. If you want to go on the highway later, I can show you. Bro, I'm all, I'm all the way down for that. All right, all right. Bro, this is the first limo I've been in. All right, for real? Appreciate oh, it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I feel like this was definitely like an opportunity of a lifetime. Like, not a lot of people can say, oh, I've, uh, I've been uh, in a limbo or I've gotten a test drive in a limbo. I've been waiting on this day for a pretty long time. All the noises that it makes. Downship is just insane, bro. Oh my god. How do you feel getting out of the car, bro? Oh, that's another thing I want to touch on, too. I can yeah, see, yeah. Because we hear a lot of people who own supercars, Lambos and stuff. How is... 
how it's difficult to get out of them. This course sits naturally low, so you kind of like have to pick oh, you're yourself like seven up. Feet tall. Yeah, it's insane though, bro. Like I, I need a Lambo now. You guys need to get a Lamborghini if you can. If if this is your dream car. Bro, save up and just save up. It's absolutely insane. Top highlight of this. What would you say? So to the first, the the thing I remember the most about the ride along is just the sound from the the V10. That's literally like the thing I remember the most. What do you think about the car, bro? You've been in the car a lot. Bro, to be honest, it, it motivated me. Your message to your uh, audience is motivate and in influence people. That's what it did to me. To be honest with you, <laughs> it's just it's a raw feeling. It's like it doesn't compare to any other car. It's obviously other Lamborghinis, but your typical car enthusiast car, it's no no other feeling. Bro, that's <laughs> touching, bro. Honestly, Jose, enough of you, bro. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And remember to never settle.